Real quick message, I only have four minutes. But the most high God wants you to quit listening to everybody because most people are not going to tell you the truth when you are trying to do what's right at all times. So don't listen to them because it is truth. Because remember, the devil knows scriptures too, which is truth. And what he does, he masquerades as an angel of light. And so does his servants. So they see God in you. They pretend to be your friends, but they won't. The Lord is speaking to you in the spirit, telling you to back off of them and stop listening to them because they are telling you what you want to hear and not what you need to get receive to carry on your journey with the Most High God. They're a distraction. So they're going to have the word because the devil knows scriptures too. So they'll keep you off of the path. But you did it. You have a choice. So don't go back. Go forward. He's moving you forward. He has to prune you. So, yeah, it's a process. So you can't continue your process if you're listening to other people that's telling you what you want to hear. You're itching ears. See, itching ears, that's what you want to hear. So listen to the voice of the Lord that is deeper in you. And then he's, he'll send his, his, his servants ahead of you. And that's going the same path. The path that leads to life. The straight and narrow path. He'll send someone to convict you. It'll sound like who they think they are trying to tell me something. <laughs> they don't know that. God told them. That's how they know that. So it sounds like they're coming to judge you. God is speaking through them to give you something that you need to do in order to continue the journey. So don't keep going back to itching ears. They're going to keep you going in around and around in circles. Itching ears, they're not your friends. They, they're they supposed to tell you when they see the things that's going on. We know. Children of God, we, we see. We, we correct. We re rebuke. Reproof for each other. We sharpen each other up. So when we see our fellow brethren going through sin, we know. Because God tells us so. Most high God tells you what's a sin all the time so we must listen carefully and so he's trying to correct that sin so that you can carry on to the next step so he can open up that next door for you but you can't break that door down you can't get to that door because you still listen to stuff that you want to hear from the people that are not your friends you will recognize them by their fruits and you will see if they're at helping you to advance what God is calling you to do. So, do you know your purpose? So, we must know our purpose. 33. 333. Jeremiah 33. Verse 3. Call on me and I will tell you. Call on me and I will answer you. Thank you, Lord. Correction. Correcting, rebuking, reproving. Call on me and I will tell you great and unsearchable things that you do not know. So, that's what he will do. So he's speaking through his servants. They, they'll convict you. It'll, it'll sound like conviction. It, they're not convicting you. The Lord is convicting you through them. So that's another way that he will use his voice through his people. And if it's a prophet, you'll know in the spirit. So be careful who you're saying. I'm not going to listen to them. If they have all the truth in them and you're looking at this, you're, you're going to recognize them by the spirit. So don't believe every spirit. Test the spirit. See where they're coming from. So that message is going to resonate. We can't continue to listen with itching ears because that's what you want to hear. But God is saying, no, we have to continue on. We're not going to stay right here. You can't move on to the next level if you're not correcting your own sin. So whatever it's, you're not, it's the truth and you don't want to apply that. That is the Lord speaking to you through someone. When he's speaking through someone. That's one way he'll communicate with his children. So it's not them. It's the spirit. <laughs> the Lord. He says he will put the words in his servant's mouth. So 
that's what they did. God breathed. So that word is for you. Thank you, Lord. So don't live in your sin. It's a correct thing for a reason. So fix it with the Lord. Those people are not God's people. We don't do that. We don't condemn people. <laughs> Jesus said, I didn't come to condemn you. I came to save you. So when he saves us, we was lost. <laughs> so when he saves us, he wants us to go out there and help save his children. So that's what he does. He trains us in the spirit, the Holy Spirit, his Holy Spirit. And then he uses us as vessels. If we're willing, we have to be a willing, obedient vessel. So obedience is better than sacrifice. So no itching ears. That correction is for a reason to help you. Help you. So fix it. <laughs> it's a sin. You can't you can't get into heaven with it. You, he's gonna ask you, did you do my father's will? So it does not include sin. So he's helping you to get out of it, but you gotta surrender it to the Lord. God loves you, and so do I. That's why I gave this message through him. <laughs> I'm just been a willing and obedient vessel. And that's what he wants you to be. You've been obedient for a while, but let him c continue fixing you. Keep going. You got to enter a tisk. You can't pour old wine. You can do wine into old wine's can or it burst. So that's to clean out the old sin, your sins. And then he'll re he'll pour in the new wine skin, the wine into the wine skin. I'm saying wine skin. So now you have new wine. New wine. He's filling you up. Fill my cup, oh Lord. Now he can fill it up with everything that he said he was going to give you. Thank you, Lord. God is good. So fix it. Fix it through Jesus. He sees what's, what you're doing. He already knows it's a sin. That's why he sent the message through his servant. So rebuke, reproof, and correcting so that you can carry on to do what God is calling you to do for all righteous so can be perfect. The will that he has for you is perfect. <laughs> so, itching ears. Stay away from that. Just because that, ooh, that's what I want to hear. That's for me. No. Nope. God will confirm what's for you. If God doesn't confirm it, there'll be another confirmation. It'll be the devil. And it'll take you down a dark path. And there's consequences and repercussions when we don't listen to God. There's rewards when we listen to him. Blessings. Abundance. <laughs> glory to glory. So this is for generation, um, generational inheritance. That, that's already, it's already done. You just got to go, go get it through him. <laughs> Do your works. <laughs> so study for thyself. Study for yourselves with fear and trembling. Because you fear the Lord. Fear him with, fear him and love him with your whole heart. He's going to show you. He's going to show you everything you need to know. He's going to carry out that perfect will for you. In Jesus' name. God loves you. So do I. This video's getting ready to end right on time.